everyone, it's Joanne and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be doing a book review and the book I'm going to be reviewing is Ivory and Bone by Julie Eschbog. Sorry if I mispronounce that. This book was one of my most anticipated releases for the rest of 2016 and it came out on June 7th. It is also the first book in a new trilogy called the Ivory and Bone Trilogy. This book is marketed as a prehistoric fantasy. I don't know why it says fantasy though because it's, it has like it doesn't have any fantasy elements in it so I don't know why it's marketed that way. But as I said before this book takes place in prehistoric times. It doesn't tell you where or precisely when but in this book woolly mammoths are around so the book takes place during the time on earth when woolly mammoths were alive. So basically I'm going to give a short synopsis of the book. The main character, Cole, is part of a clan that lives in the northern, in the north part of where this book takes place. His clan has a problem and that is that there are no suitable females in his clan for the boys that are his age to marry. And the clan is worried about this because they're worried that they will die out. One day a girl from another clan named Maya is visits Cole's land with her brother and her sister and Cole's clan wants to be friends with their clan. Maya's clan lives in the south area of where this book takes place. Cole's clan invites Maya and her siblings to go on a hunt with them to show signs of friendship. During the hunt Cole does something unforgivable in Maya's eyes and he feels like he lost the chance to talk to her, or impress her, or be with her. Then another clan comes and in that clan is a girl named Lo. The problem is that Maya and Lo don't like each other and there is bad blood between Maya and Lo's clan. Although Cole doesn't know what it is. As it says in the synopsis of the book, violence happens and then Cole has to decide if he's going to fight with Maya or believe Lo. So that's what basically the book is about. I'm going to talk a little bit about the characters. Cole was okay. I liked him well enough. Um, he wasn't anything spectacular. Um, he was a really nice person though and he was a good person. He cares a lot about his family. He cares a lot about his clan in general. He enjoys living in his clan. He enjoys finding honey for honeybees. That's like one of his pastimes that he does. He's friendly, especially towards Maya and He's just an all-around good guy and good character. He gives people the benefit of the doubt. He doesn't jump to conclusions just because he hears something about somebody. And he's very just in the way that he thinks. And he's very, very helpful. Maya I didn't really like that much in the beginning of the book. She was kind of like a bitch and I didn't really know why she was being so nasty to Cole. But later on you find out her story and why she's acting the way that she is and you kind of like get it and understand where she's coming from. In the beginning of the book she's very hard, very tough, very closed off and standoffish. She's not friendly at all and doesn't really make friends and she doesn't trust anybody. So when something happens during the hunt that Maya takes the wrong way, it's very difficult for her to forgive Cole when he tries to make amends for it. Um, but later on in the book, you can see her softening towards him. She's still very reserved and very quiet and very in herself instead of being like, she's not very outgoing, but you could see her soften towards him and warm up and you could, you could see that she's just a girl that got hurt and she needs to like, she needs help to like get over it. So she's very weir wary of people, but she becomes so much nicer and so much better later on in the book. I liked Lo also. Lo was very friendly. She was has a big personality. She's very nice. She's sweet. She's outgoing and she's caring. She makes friends with Cole really quickly. And there is a romance in this book. There are some problems I had with it, but overall I did like it. I didn't really like the insta love that happened. It was mostly on Cole's part though because Cole was like instantly in love with Maya, but and she really wasn't with him. But I really did like the romance between them because I liked the way that 
even though he messed up he, he tried to make amends and he kept trying and of course he would get mad when she spurned him or whatever but he was always thinking about her and he really cares for her and he's protective of her and he wants to help her and I liked that he had to like woo her and make her change her mind about him because you don't really see that a lot in books usually it's really insta love on both sides but in this book it wasn't and I liked seeing them together I like seeing them get to know each other their conversations with each other and how Maya is beginning to trust Cole with certain things and I just think that they're really cute together and I, I like them together one part of the romance that I didn't like was the love triangle elements of the book mainly when Lo came into the picture Cole was getting fed up with the way Maya was being so he was thinking maybe that he should try to be with Lo instead but every time he was with Lo he was comparing her to Maya so you know that Maya is the one that he really wants no full blown out love triangle it doesn't go farther than Cole's thinking of maybe he should be with Lo instead but it was just still kind of annoying like okay yeah Maya's being difficult but now you want to go to a different girl? I don't know, it's kind of weird. There's really not a lot of action in this book. It's really just day to day of what's going on in Cole's life, how he feels about Maya, his interactions with Maya, his interactions with his tribe. There's no real action until the end of the book, so it does get a little bit slow. There is a mystery about why Maya and Lo don't like each other, and then there's also a mystery about why Maya reacted in such a bad way to what Cole did during the hunt which in my eyes Cole didn't really do anything wrong because of the circumstances that were happening but she took it like really badly and you find out why in the book so there are those two kind of like mysteries I like the descriptions and the settings of the books there's the north where it's very cold they live by the water it's chilly it's windy they have storms and everything and I liked how in the south it's warmer of course it still does rain but it's not as cold as it is in the north I liked how there's different animals that can be hunted in each of their areas in the north there's seals and there's woolly mammoths and in the south there's like elk and stuff I also really liked the differences between Maya's clan and Cole's clan Cole's clan is very close and festive when they have their meals together they all they're all laughing there's music there's dancing they're celebrating you know they're all very friendly with each other they all help each other and everything in Maya's clan everybody's quiet nobody really talks to each other during the meals nobody really talks they just eat and everything there's a lot of cultural differences between both the North and the South clans and it just has to do with their customs, the way that their huts are, the way that their clothes are and their materials and the way that they act, the way that their town, cent their village centers are. It's just really different and it's interesting to see the differences between them. I really enjoyed reading about the way Cole and Maya's family traveled on water. They built boats out of wood and they built, and they built kayaks. Specifically, Cole's clan builds kayaks out of seal skin which I thought was awesome the thing that was a little bit weird about the book is the modern words that were in it and sometimes it like takes you out of the story like the clothing that they had that had a hood and had it was kind of like a jacket and had a hood in the book it's called a parka which I'm just like parka is like a modern word like I don't think that they would use that word back then but it was kind of a little bit weird to see that word there they use the word canoe which I don't know if they knew the word canoe back then. They used the word kayak, which was kind of weird to me. So those kind of things kind of pulled me out of the book a little bit, but it wasn't like too bad. The other thing that I wasn't really happy with about the book is the way it was told. Like I said in a few of my other previous reviews, I don't like when it's told in flashbacks, like somebody's remembering something. This book is told that way. You get a prologue in the beginning where Cole is with Maya and then Maya asks him to tell her the most incredible or wonderful day of his life or whatever and he starts and that's where the book starts. It's him remembering everything up until the end of the book and then there it goes back to the present where because he had already finished his tale up until that point and then he goes and then the book goes on from there telling what happens after. All in all I liked the book. I didn't like it as much as I was 
thought I was going to and I didn't like it as much as I wanted to like it. I wanted this book to be like the epic book that because I love prehistoric settings. I love anything like that but it just wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. I did give it a four stars but I wanted it to be a five star and I wanted it to be a favorite but it's just not. And another thing I don't really know about this book is the end is kind of like a, f like, the ending is wasn't a cliffhanger. It was kind of like a final ending, like you could see where their story ended or whatever. So I don't know what the other two books are going to be about, unless they're going to be about Cole's brothers and their whole thing with the girls for them. That could be what the other uh, books is about, because I don't see where Cole and Maya's story could keep going, because this book kind of like close the deal on them so I don't know but I'm excited to find out and I'm definitely going to keep reading this series because I did like the book just not as much as I thought I would so that's it for my video I hope you guys like the review thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time with another video bye